things I did is what I always try to do to get people out. And I got two comments uh, from people who, uh, who were not able to be here tonight. Um, one was, why should we go? We said all of this time and time again. Our public officials have testified, uh, environmental groups have testified, private citizens have testified, and what good did it do? I believe this proposal is exactly why people are losing faith in government and why we are seeing this sad response to our political system. If government cannot respond to the public need and the public voice, it is hurting us. I believe this is a perfect example of why people are so discouraged about government. So that was one re reply I got. The other reply I got is, you know, I can't go to that meeting. It is the annual AOC hearing out of town. I mean, why would you schedule a Lake Erie hearing when half of the people who are interested in Lake Erie are at an AOC meeting? So, so anyway, I, so that's what I wanted to say about this hearing itself and what I had heard people say who were not going to be here tonight. Um, but what my overarching comments are as a person who has followed these issues for a really long time, is that this proposal is entirely wrong-headed and incredibly ill-timed. Lake Erie is a distressed ecosystem, and the world is beginning to wake up to that. As a matter of fact, just February 22nd, a week ago, the parties signed a binational that is, the parties of the United States of America and Canada, have signed an agreement to come up with strategies to reduce phosphorus in Lake Erie by 40%. That was February 22nd. This is the, the distressed ecosystem. And you can argue about the U.S. EPA um, uh, standards that you use and have to follow. Well, U.S. EPA is the negotiator for the Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement. We have got to stop segmenting this whole system and finding ways to point, oh, it's the poor, no, it's the city, no, it's the Army Corps, no, it's the farmers. It's all of us. And we have got to work in partnership if Lake Erie is this priority. And people are going to pay. The Army Corps is going to pay. The rest of us are going to pay. You cannot have a priority without spending money. So I think Chris Roney's statements and the other people who talk about partnership is the key thing here. We aren't good guys or bad guys. We're Lake Erie guys. And we all need to work together. We need to do our part, whatever our part is. So come on, do the right thing. That's all we want. Do the right thing.